If Kijio's committed to his health regimen for six months, the Serb says he would win Wimbledon. It's no secret that Nova Djokovic and Nate Kijio's used to get along poorly. From Kijio's calling the Serb names like useless in a two, to Djokovic saying a short time later that he had no respect for the Aussie. That feud is now friendship. The seeds of a changed relationship were revealed publicly just over a year later in 2022, when Djokovic defeated Kijios in four sets in the men's final at Wimbledon. In his winner's speech, Djokovic said Kijios was a deserving finalist and one of the best players in the world, and the two continued to banter on social media. I never thought I'm going to say so many nice things about you, the Serb joke, to a roar of approval from the center court crowd. Okay, it's officially a bromus. What changed? You'll find out this week on the latest episode of the Aussie's video podcast, Good Trouble with Nick Kijios which was filmed in front of a live audience at this year's Australian Open. The pair dish on the evolution of their friendship, or bromance, as both have called it, and many other topics including the gold debate in both tennis and basketball, health and wellness, and charity work. Ultimately, Djokovic said, the deportation saga he experienced from Kijio's home in 2022 as a result of his stance on the COVID-19 vaccination and Kijio's public support of him is what turned the tables. You were pushing all the buttons, man. Jakovic recalls of the pair's early interactions. I thought to myself, well, you know, I really want to speak to him because I don't know, like, what have I done? So then, two years ago, what happened here in Australia for me? I don't want to go back. But, you know, we had a tough time, and you stood up for me. That was a big surprise. You were one of the very few colleagues that stood up that used this platform, used his voice, to support me.